In this video, we're going to talk about VHDL files. A VHDL file is nothing more than a file with the extension VHD or VHDL. And the contents of said file are, is just a text file like any other file. So when you want to create a VHDL file, the simplest way to do it is just to open a text editor. In this case, the simplest text editor in Microsoft Windows is the Notepad. Now, you can use any text editor and the recommended approach would be to use a proper programming IDE like Visual Studio Code because it offers a lot more flexibility. But I'm just doing this as an example to show you how simple it is to open or create a VHDL file. So I'm just going to paste some VHDL code that I have from a different file here just as an example. And I'm going to save this as and I'm going to save it with the name test.vhd. Now, once I save, notice that it didn't show any errors. And now I have a new file in this folder that is called test and is the type vhd file. Now, maybe your computer doesn't have an association to know which app to use when opening these type of files. So if you don't have it, if you cannot double click and, and an application opens with the, showing you the file, then you can right click on it and go to open with Still, you have some suggestions, however, if you don't see your preferred code editor, in this case for me it's Visual Studio Code, you can click on choose another app and you can even check all of the apps that you have. If your favorite code editor doesn't show up here, you can still look in, in the PC for other, uh, for other applications, but in this case I'm just going to select Visual Studio Code and I'm going to check always use this app because in that case, it will always open with this uh, Visual Studio Code. And as you can see, Visual Studio Code shows me the, the code in a very nice highlighted way. And it, it actually makes it easy to change the font size and to change some other parameters when you're working with your code, which is very convenient and practical. So that's how you create and open a VHDL file.